I'm Libra, welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Okay, right out of the gate, the divine masculine energy came out right out of the gate. And the first, <laughs> this is like the first two cards in the pre-shuffle that came out. And I was like, I'm gonna keep going, right? And, and then um, we'll start recording. Divine masculine and love. Okay, so this divine masculine or you, you could identify as the divine masculine here. You could be male or female. I know there's a male on this card here, but the energy is divine masculine energy. And this divine masculine is in love with the divine feminine. They're in love with you if you resonate as the divine feminine. They feel like it's been tumultuous roller coaster ride between the two of you. Um, I feel like this divine masculine came is coming across when you were with this person collective there was it was an emotional roller coaster with this person there were highs and then there were there were lows but i feel like this person played games they played mind games they were manipulative they had con they used control ta tactics against you okay i think you know this this person used control tactics with you mind games with you um you know or for some of you guys, I'm just going to put this out there because this is also the energy that I was getting with this control energy and head in the clouds. This person like obsessively like thinks about you sexually and physically. Okay. Just, you know what that means. They think about you obsessively and they are wondering what you're doing or they're curious about what you have going on. They're curious about whether or not you've moved on. And they're trusting and hoping and praying that you haven't moved on. Okay. Th this is the energy. Curious about you and divine timing and trust. Okay. This person is just praying and hoping and wishing. Th th because this person hasn't made a decision yet. They feel like a clown because they wore a mask. And they know they didn't make a decision. Some of you all, this person made the wrong choice. This person had two paths to take or they have two paths to take, right? And I feel like there was some confusion, a lot of confusion. This person didn't just doesn't seem to know which direction to go, which road to take. They want to talk to you. They're fighting themselves from actually reaching out to you and talking to you, even though, even though they are super curious about you in, in this page of swords energy. But this person is fighting it. They're resisting the urge to reach out to you. It's like the harder they try to resist reaching out to you collective, it's like the weaker they seem to become. All they can really do is sit around and think about the what ifs, right? It's like they just didn't realize being with, how being without you was really going to go. How it was really going to feel and how it was really going to work. I, a, lot, a lot of you guys, I really feel like low-key this person thought, oh, I'll be fine without the collective. Oh, it wasn't even, um, you know. Um, yeah. This person was not looking to fall in love. I'm telling you. Now, I'm gonna, this is the thing. I feel like there's some gossip going on between you and your person and their friend group or whoever. It could be a group chat going on. It could be something, something somebody either told your person or you're something your person saw on social media. Because um, the social media cyberbullying card is here. We've got friend support, right? This person is talking to your friends about them or your their friends are reporting information back to them about you. They're taking screenshots or like, you know, sending information like, hey, did you see what the collective was doing? Did you see what's going on? Like this person is tripping. Like when they see this information that they get, they're like, damn, is the collective really like this person wants to reach out to you so, so bad. But like they, they can't, this person cannot move on. This person cannot move move on. This person like is texting you, trying to reach out to you. For some of you guys, this person like you may even have this person blocked on social media and they're finding out 
you make sure you're checking your friends list to see like who could be following you or who could be sending information, taking screenshots and sending it back to this person because somebody is. Now, for some of you all, and this is not going to resonate for everybody, so just keep that in mind. But for some of you all, there is somebody here that is has another third party. There's somebody else in the mix and this person that they're with, this karmic that they're with, somehow some way may have embarrassed this person okay or saw some text messages saw some evidence took some screenshots or something and this person wants to tell you like this person like might be is being outed in some type of way but here's the fucking kicker yo the kicker in this situation is, is I feel like you don't even know any of this shit you don't know any of this shit because literally like you're this you're being blocked and protected from this shit. Or you, some of y'all, like I said, you have this person on block on social media and on your phone. Or you you just block this person left and right from whatever, wherever, or every, everything, I feel like. You're you protecting yourself. But here's the thing. You, Archangel Michael, your spirit guides, God, whoever it is you believe in. Look at all this energy, this protection energy that came out. You're being protected from this person. Cop blocking energy, protecting yourself, needing to keep yourself safe. Archangel Michael, protect it, prevent it. This says Archangel Michael protection, prevent it from harm, divine intervention. So you're prevented, you're being blocked from this person for a reason, or if you block this person, just know that what do they say? Divine uh, rejection is divine protection. Okay, this person wants to come in and give you an apology, right? But it's a fake apology. Fake apology and pretending. It's a fake apology. And after that came out cop blocking and protect yourself. So you're somebody here, I feel like you're seeing signs and synchronicities, uh, infinity symbols, 1111, 222. Some of you guys are seeing 333. Whatever those signs and synchronicities are that you're, you are seeing, you know, trust those. That is spirit telling you we're protecting you from this person. Now on, on your person's end, they could be seeing signs and synchronicities, synchronicities too because they are going through some form of like epiphany, but they're fighting it. This person is fighting, doing anything closely related to growing, I feel like. Okay, so it may be time that you, Alexa, turn the, Alexa, Alexa, turn down the music. I'm sorry, y'all, that was so loud. It was distracting. Um, as I was saying, you, it's time for you to practice forgiveness when dealing with this person. Okay, it doesn't mean that you have to take them back, but I also feel like the practice forgiveness energy, you guys, is your person wanting to come back, ask you for forgiveness, but it's not a real apology. This person hasn't changed, unfortunately. I was hoping we would see some better energy here, but we don't see better energy here. Here is the deal with this, though. There's a third party involved, or you have two options. Okay, there's more than one person here. Spirit brought it up, so I have to tell you. There's more than one person in store for you when it comes to love. There's a person here that's not ready. They're a karmic, okay? This is your person's not ready. And then there's somebody else that you're meant to be with. Okay, this is somebody else who's ready to settle down. Okay, that's just what it is. So let's just see here. Let's get into the tarot. We're going to use a, di a different deck. We're going to use a new deck. This is the Pulp Fiction deck, I believe. All right. So show me here for the collective here. Show me the current energy between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, please. Make sure you guys hit the like button. It supports the channel. The Ace of Pentacles. Right out of the gate, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So this is a gift from the divine, a stable, a stable, off, abundant offer here. This is this is the energy of like whatever this is is being gifted to you. It's abundance, but not without the hardship, not without the mountains and the valleys, because there are some mountains and some valleys way in the back, but there is also a field of abundance and flowers. 
Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, remember, that comes from the divine. That's gifted to somebody from source. Judgment. Oof. Judgment, Scorpio energy. The Ten of Wands. All right. I'm sorry, the Six of Wands. I don't know why I say the Ten of Wands. This is the Six of Wands. This is a new deck. Uh, this is the first time. I just opened this deck like not too long ago today. Six of Wands. Okay. Hmm. What else here for the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, please? Let's get a few more cards. We've got the King of, the Two of Pentacles and the King of Cups. All right. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles. So there is somebody here who wants to make an offer to you. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is on the bottom of that. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You don't have to be. There's a King of Cups here that's kind of indecisive about what decision again, but we already really knew that. We knew that already, right? Remember I told you this person literally like just couldn't make a decision and they, whatever decision they made in the past, it was definitely the wrong decision, okay? It really was. All right, so show me why judgment is here. Why is judgment here for this King of Cups? The Ten of Cups, okay. Hmm. Show me more of um, somebody here. Show me judge. Somebody got judgment from someone's family. Um, Ace of Cups, the fuck, and the Fool. And the magician, you guys, you're and the nine of cups. This could be a new person. You're gonna have a choice in between a new person. You're gonna have you manifested a new beginning. And whether you know it or not, when you manifested this new beginning, it manifested your old person and your new person. So this is new person energy. There's gonna be a king of cups. You could be the King of Cups too, but somebody is going to have a decision to make. <laughs> You're going to be so popular, I feel like. Somebody here wants to offer the Ace of Pentacles to you, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Damn, I was not expecting that. This took a turn. Let me take a sip of my tea. Oh. Okay, well, can we see the old person's energy then? Because I feel like this is the new person. What's the old person's energy? So this is the person who is ready to settle down. Right here. Okay, here goes the Queen of Cups. So now we have a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups. All right. There's your pair. All right. <sighs> Show me the old person's energy, please. This person. Wow. Nine of Swords. Okay, this, this old person could be a soulmate too. Nine of Swords. The old person. Listen, the old person cannot sleep. They cannot be move on. They're being haunted by thoughts of you. This, this person is dreaming about your ass. This person is watching TV up at night, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., whatever it is that they do. They're up watching TV late at night. And can they just, everything reminds, I feel like even when this person is watching TV, something that this person is seeing on a screen, whether it be social media, their phone, or on TV, is like reminding you of them. You, 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 yeah. <laughs> I just heard um, the reason why I keep saying that here is because if you can see this Queen of Cups is watching TV, there's like a reflection. They're sitting on the, a couch watching TV, drinking something, right? And then the Nine of Swords. This person is like up late at night. They cannot sleep. They are like surrounded by their thoughts. They can't stop thinking about you. They miss you, Six of Cups energy. They're thinking about the past. <clears throat> huh. Show me more about this past person's energy, please. It could be an, um, an air sign or a water sign, too. 
a Gemini or an Aries. Five, seven of Wands. Um, and then we have the Three of Pentacles. This person definitely had you. Do you have this person blocked? I'm telling you, it's like somebody's blocked. They feel like you're going to reject or block their um, love offer. Yeah. They feel like you're going to reject their love offer here. Seven of um, Pentacles, um, Seven of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Okay. And then the, the Knight of Cups. They feel like you're going to reject this offer. The Three of Pentacles is, th this person's trying to figure out how they can get around, how they can get around the block. Yeah. Because you see, these people are like, this person smokes and drinks, okay? Somebody is smoking and drinking heavy, I feel like, okay? Because there's a, some ashes or something here in the background with whatever that is, and then some alcohol. <sighs> But this person is planning how to get around you. They might even be sending your friends or somebody else you know to try to go like get, get screenshots or go around you or something like that. Or go go you know go around the block that you already have in place. Hmm. Somebody here could be dealing with a younger water sign. Show me more about this old. This old person from the past, please. The Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords. Somebody could be born in 1988. And again, eights are infinity symbols. Somebody here is seeing infinity symbols for sure. Someone here is trying to get out of their head. Um, you know, they've been in their head since you turned your back on them and walked away. Or this, this person's trying to free themselves from their thoughts. Or like, it's like paral analysis, paralysis, energy, eight of cups, eight of swords. You know. Hmm. Why is this person in this eight of swords energy and this nine of swords energy? There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of overthinking, obsessive thinking. There's a lot of anxiety surrounding this. Like a mental breakdown, addiction. Somebody here could really seriously be dealing with some form of addiction. Again, heavy smoking, drinking something. Or a, some form of unhealthy behavior. Yeah, as I'm saying that. Toxic, unhealthy relationship patterns. This person is so used to being in a toxic, fucked up ass relationship, you guys. They didn't know, they didn't know any better. I'm not making excuses for anybody's behavior, but yeah, you were, you and this person were just, you didn't share the, you didn't have the same outlook and view on the future and, and life. You just had two different perspectives. You know, you, you there was, uh oh, let me see what that was. Hold on. This is so weird. You know, this person is really weird. I'm going to tell you why in a second. <sighs> okay. This person is weird because they felt, even though the two of you did, weren't, didn't see eye to eye, this person in some fucked up universe that they live in, some alternative fucking marvel universe is it marvel where they have uh, multiple universes or some this is this is some doctor what's his name the magician anyway y'all know who i'm talking about this is that kind of bullshit because i feel like this person is low-key low-key delusional delulu they thought they would be able to create an empire with you and that the two of you could like do anything together, um, build an empire or whatever. I, I, but they're in such toxic behavior. They don't even know it. They don't even know it. 
Yeah, somebody here is enjoying this. I feel like you are enjoying this the single life, but somebody resents you for enjoying the single life. So I'm talking to somebody here who's single right now, enjoying their living their whole best life, traveling, doing whatever it is that they want to do. They're not tied down. Even if you have kids, you and your kids are having an amazing life. You take your kids and go do things. You're not sitting on your ass feeling depressed about shit. You're not. And I feel like this person sees you on social media or somebody on social media, somebody they know is reporting back to them and taking screenshots and sending them to you. And low key, this person is in feeling bitter and resentful. And there's the kicker. This person is bitter and resentful. And what's underneath that? Soulmate. Soulmate. So now this person is like, Okay, I'm so bitter. I'm so um, hurt about this. They, they feel like it's unfair that you're living your best life. You're supposed to be over here with them. But like, how are you supposed to be over here, over here with them building an empire if y'all not on the same page? Because all this person does is they're just toxic. So now somebody wants to speak up and talk to you. And tell you how they feel. Because they feel like you're getting over them. And this is why you're being protected from this person. Or spirit is telling you to continue to be to protect yourself from this person. Yeah, look at this lust. For some of y'all, this person just really is missing you. Like I said earlier, they're missing you physically. They're thinking about you, dreaming about you physically. Lust, straight lust. There's a lot of sexual chemistry here between you and this person, but there's no depth to it, you know? Some of your your friends or your family members didn't even care for this person, and they didn't tell you. Or maybe this person had family members and friends who didn't care for you, and that's why they're fucking in your business now, sending this person screenshots like, look at what your person was doing. They they wasn't shit then, and they're not shit now. And it's like, bitch, I'm minding my own damn business. <laughs> and why are you so worried about me exactly? That's what this is kind of giving. Oh, resentful, bitter ass. They got some growing to do. I... I don't, but hey, you have a new person who wants to settle down, who wants to settle down. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, they want to offer you the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, okay? They want to offer you the Ten of Cups, okay? This is what they want to give you. I mean, you manifested it, but just know sometimes when you're doing some manifesting, it works so well. It works so well that you just manifest other people too. Because you're like a magnet. You're drawing it in, right? But the key is for you to discern it. Use your discernment. Use your wisdom. Use your judgment. You know what I'm saying? Use your judgment. Judgment is going to be needed here. Judgment is being called upon this person and you are being protected from this past person. So you're being protected from them. Um, it doesn't mean that spirit is going to block them from getting around the block or getting to you where you maybe even having a weak moment and you decide to answer the phone, call them, text them, whatever this is that it could be. Because if it feels like communication, this person wants to talk and they are going to do whatever they can to find a way around this block. Seven of Wands, Three of Pentacles. They're going to trust and believe they're going to do what they can. They really want to talk to you because, remember, they're bitter. But it's like a fake apology. It's just, this, it's feeling like this person only, like, excuse me, this person only, like, cares about what you have going on because it looks like you're having too much fun and you're enjoying their, your life without them. Like, does this person really feel, like, low-key? I feel like this person feels like... You could only be, be to your fullest potential when you're with them. Like, you could only be a power couple if you're with them. You can't be a power couple with somebody else or whatever. Like, no. 
What's this person's problem, Spirit? Can you show me more here? What's this person's problem? I'm starting to lose patience for this person. Yeah. What's this person's problem? Ooh, child. Listen, Spirit done said it twice. Toxic karmic love is coming out. This person refuses to see how destruct, destructive the connection is and they stay in stay regard okay so some of y'all this person is involved with somebody else and they're staying with this other person they're still toxic right for some of y'all this is the person who is fucking toxic okay they some of y'all it's addictions it's codependency whatever that codependence is for some of you all they're with somebody else and they're with that person out of convenience or for money, you know, it cost of living is high these days. People is having to, um, you know, be roommates. That's all I'm saying. Okay, then we have negative self-talk, depressive thoughts, plant seeds of doubt in the mind, mental health issues, lacking confidence. Ugh. What's this person's, what, what's what else going on? Yeah. Oh, this person is overindulging in everything. Like, this person is greedy. They're toxic. They If they want what they want, they're going to go and get it. And they don't care how they get it. Like I said, manipulation, whatever it is, it's definitely toxic. And it's definitely karmic here, too. And this person is really wanting to... They're resentful as fuck. They want to try to keep you stuck. This is this is the energy coming through for your person. This is a, your person's problem. They see you happy, and they're pissed. They don't. They're like, "How dare you be happy? How dare the collective be happy?" Look, anger issues. For some of y'all, you have anger issues. That's why you block this person in the first day on place. Or if this person gets around the block, you might just be like, uh, I don't want to talk to you. Don't call me again. Or if you don't accept this person's fake ass apology, they may get upset with you because they're, they, they've they lost control. You know, for some of y'all, you even had to deal with verbal abuse. Or this person has a short, very short temper. You know, this person loves to fight. You know, they, they drink. They act crazy. You know, they can't hold their liquor or y'all know those drunks who like drink when they drink, they want to fight. And sometimes, you know, you could be dealing with somebody here who goes to jail. They may even think, oh, because they can fight. It's cute. It's not. It's not. <sighs> it, I don't know. That's your reading. I love y'all.